So trends in Asia uh, are a bit different from Europe because there is uh, some attend very different from Asian people compared to European people. For example, Asian people are looking for a whiter skin and European people are looking for more dark skin. So one uh, big trend in, in Asia is to have whitening uh, uh, component in cream or in booster. So that's why uh, you have to adapt your skincare to European, to Asian uh, brand. And also, uh, there is some difference uh, about uh, skin because uh, of the tropical climate. So, for example, in Singapore or in Hong Kong, sometimes it's very hot and very humid. So, the skin are more oily. So, you need to have like very dry uh, texture. Of cream. So a, a big trend also in uh, Asia that we don't know in, uh, in Europe it's sheet mask. So it's like tissue mask. You just apply your mask. It's a big tissue. You just apply it on the face. And we are um, uh, on still under process to developing this kind of mask. What will be the name of the mask? <laughs> we, we, don't, we still don't know. Yeah. Okay. So I'm uh, Petroni. I'm a pharmacist from France and I just launched a new cosmetic brand called Petroni Dermo Cosmetic. So it's a customizable skincare range. Uh, you have three cream, four booster, and you can adapt uh, day by day according to your skin specific needs.